Hello and welcome to another Retro Review Roulette video. In this series, I will be using a random game generator to pick a random retro game that I'm not familiar with to play for around 15 minutes and review it on the fly. I'll point out the good, the bad, and especially the janky, and give it an overall grade at the end. Alright, here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm really excited today because today's video is going to be Super Turrican on the Super Nintendo and while I have never actually played this particular game, I have heard awesome things about pretty much every Turrican game that's out there, even going back as far as the Commodore 64. So I'm pretty excited about this. So far the sound quality seems awesome. I mean, I haven't even started anything yet. Look at this, they put Dolby Surround right on their title screen. That's just awesome. <laughs> um, okay, so... Well, let's take a look at the options. Rapid fire, controls... Okay, let's leave everything the same. I just like to kind of take a look at the controls and see if there's anything obvious that I should switch. Okay. Oh, this is made by Factor 5. Interesting. They made a bunch of... Um, oh, I don't remember all the games they made, but they made a bunch of PS3 games, I think. Okay. So yeah, this looks roughly what I expected. One up. One up. Look at that digitized sound. Or I guess don't look. Hear that one. <laughs> digitized sound. Okay, now I got spread shot. Oh man. This sounds really good too. Oh yeah, okay, so I got spread shot. I can shoot. Let's see, what's that thing up there? Is that a platform? Okay, it's a platform. That's something. Oh, okay, those are weapon power ups. I can't shoot up. Oh! I pressed R and it did something crazy. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh! I don't know what happened. I pressed R and there was like a huge explosion. And then some new platforms appear. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about that. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here. What does L do? Oh! Goodness. Okay. It would be beneficial to be able to shoot multi-directional, but oh boy, that doesn't look good. <laughs> He's just sitting there like he doesn't give a crap that I'm shooting the crap out of him. <laughs> That's not good when the boss isn't scared or anything. It's just, or I guess it's not a boss. It's sort of a tougher mid-level opponent enemy. Whoa! Is that bounce? Oh, it bounces! Oh my goodness, that is rad. This reminds me of sort of a... Ooh! Ouch. If I remember correctly, I'm, I could be wrong on this, but I... Uh, this may have actually started on the Commodore 64, and then there was like a, Amiga ports and all sorts of stuff like that. And I'm wondering if... Uh, I mean, the style to me seems a bit different than your typical, like... Um, you know, game of this genre for, you know, the, the Super Nintendo or, or any of this, the North American 16-bit consoles. Um, seems very European, if that's, <laughs> if that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, this game's fun. I like it already. Oh, there's something up there. Oh. What else do I have? Okay, I have a beam. What can I do with this beam? Oh. Okay. Oh, I can... I can aim my beam up a little bit. I'm not sure what it does, though. Is it hitting that guy? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep going. Ooh, I wanna get up there. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, there was an exit... Okay, so let's just go that way for the exit. Or this way to get more stuff. Hell yeah! Get some stuff! Oh man, okay. Seriously, that's cool. You sh one shot, or you shoot your shot. <laughs> it's like a tongue booster. Uh, and it bounces off and breaks into multiple pieces. 
This is awesome. I am happy that I got to play this today. So far, I'm not very good at it, but I just started, so... <laughs> Maybe I'll get better. Okay, I need my sprite shot here. Like, it's hard to get those guys that are slightly higher than I am here. Oh boy. Okay, seriously. How the heck? Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Yes. Yes. Oh, this game's awesome. How did I never play this when I was a kid? <laughs> how, how did that happen? Maybe it's because it didn't hold the same kind of brand um, recognition? Is that the right word? Like, when when I was a kid, and I, if I heard of Turrican, that wouldn't mean anything to me. But now, when I, I've seen so many other people talk about it in such high esteem... Oh yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Spread. Look at this is like European Contra. <laughs> Except a little more lighthearted. Oh, I got to keep my weapon. That's cool. It's like Contra, but different. Um, I think, honestly, my one complaint so far is that you can't shoot up. And I may be wrong about this, but I also am under the impression that perhaps that's the rare exception to this series. Um, I think most of them you actually can shoot in different directions, and this one might be the outlier where it's just you can't in this one for some reason. But I could be wrong on that. Oh. I still want to know what that beam does. I'm not really sure. I'm definitely going to play this again. This game's awesome. Okay, and if this isn't even the best of them, I just, I can't even imagine what the best one's going to be like. Oh boy, it's a boss. Oh, I should have kept my spread. Oh, oh yeah. Zooming is, uh, <laughs> zooming effect. Is that mode 7? Is that considered mode 7? Um, that's cool. I guess mode seven's more like the turning. And there's some of the mode 7 turning there too. Oh yeah, this game is so rad. Seriously, I... Love it. Oh. How far? Yes! I forgot about my, like, clear um, screen clearing attack. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my god, this game is so rad. <laughs> okay, and then the different colors. So. I'm going to avoid... I want to keep this spread... Oh, I guess I could keep this spread. Oh. I do like trying the different weapons. Like, especially today when I'm... Ooh. Okay, okay, that's what happens. Okay, red. That's my goal. Get that red weapon. That's the spread. Oh, boy. Can I go under here? Oh my god, this game is so good. And if this isn't even the best one in the series, that's incredible. I've heard the Genesis one is amazing too. Um, I don't know, there's, there's a bunch of them, and... Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to keep straight which one's which. I know the Commodore 64 version is supposed to be one of the best Commodore 64 games ever made. And... I mean, there's a lot of weird kind of stinker games on Commodore 64, but there's also a lot of classics, so I feel like that really bodes well for this whole series. Yes. This is just fun. Like, ser honestly. You just, you don't have stupid, um, like, weapon limits. You can just fire to your heart's content. Yes, screen clear, take that. I don't know if there's any negatives to that. Honestly, I don't know what the screen clearing takes off. Like, normally there'd be some kind of indicator of how many you have left, especially in, like, a, you know, like a side scrolling shooter game or something. Okay, yes. But this one, I have no idea. God, this game is awesome. Okay, I don't think I want that. I want to keep my spread. I'm not sure if that's a different weapon. 
Okay, it's not. I'm not 100% sure what all the different uh, pick power-ups are, but... Damn. <laughs> Damn. This game is awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy that this came up in the random game generator today. It's a kind of a game I've always meant to get to because I've heard such good things about it. Okay, I don't need to shoot all the time, I guess. Is there a way I can jump higher and get up there? Oh, shoot. Use my screen clearing. Okay, so apparently A is also the screen clearing along with R. What does X do? X is also the beam. Okay. Okay, so L and R are just... Oh, damn it. Okay, I gotta stop using that screen clearing. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure where to go now. Uh, I'm stuck, maybe? Oh, I wonder if I have to go all the way back. Because I, I, I was up top. Crap. I was up top and... Uh, I, um, I fell. I wonder if I need to go all the way back and continue from the top again. Or maybe I'm supposed to go here. Yes, god, that spread is awesome. I think in it, pretty much every game that has a spread weapon, it's just the best. <laughs> like, every Contra game I've ever played, spread is the best. Although in Super Contra, I really like that, um... Ah... Uh, I don't know what it's called. It's like the heat-seeking missile weapon. That is awesome. It's so nice to just be able to like, especially in bosses, you just sort of run around and you just keep shooting all the time and no matter what direction you're facing, you're always, you know, shooting these heat-seeking missiles. I find that really handy because then you can really just concentrate on dodging. You don't need to worry about aiming. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, so where the heck is <laughs> I'm getting lost here. I'm not familiar with the levels. I feel like shooting all the time is just prudent. <laughs> because there's no point in not. Because you don't have limited ammo. You might as well just go for it. Look at that big pile of green turd. <laughs> the, the best thing, or best way I could describe this game is delightful. That's why... Oh, I understand now. When I first started the game, I used my screen clearing attack, and a new one of these red platforms came out. And I think that was because when you hit them, um, things jump, jump out of them, including additional... Oh! Including additional platforms. So I think that's what happened. Okay. I don't want those, but I can't really get around them. I bet there's so much... Um, like, secret content in this game, too. Like, there's a couple of parts where I'm sure there was something, but I just couldn't get to it uh, in the first couple levels. And I'm sure this is the same thing. I'm sure there's... See, I blew up that other oh, red one. I shouldn't have done that. It's too bad. Oh, okay. And this game's good difficulty so far, too. Like, I find it slightly challenging, but also accessible. It's not, like, punishingly difficult like like some games are. Even Contra. Like, Contra 3, it's not the absolute hardest game ever, I've ever played, but it's pretty damn hard. I don't know if I've ever beat it without... I was going to say without... Um, using Game Genie codes, but no, I think I beat it <laughs> using uh, save states. <laughs> but I don't think I've ever beat it without using something like that. Power up. Power up. Yeah, the music's really good in this game. The sound effects are great. It's just so much fun to play. Like, it's just... I honestly, like... I'm just nitpicking to come up with anything that's negative about this game at all. I guess I'd, I wish you could shoot at least up, if not diagonal. Um, but it's just damn fun. <laughs> I'm just delighted. Seriously. Delighted. 
Delighted. This made my day. Yes. And I find, like, all the weapons... Oh, crap, he's gonna get me. <laughs> I don't know how to dodge this. There's no, no place to dodge. I guess run? Ah, I'm just gonna give her. I'll just do that. Oh, even that didn't take him out. <laughs> I like how in these small areas like this, how the uh, the weapon explodes into a bunch of pieces, and <laughs> and then it just gets everything. That's just awesome. So I guess in these areas, maybe this is better than the spread. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, dude. Oh, explodey. Continue. Yeah, let's continue. And the graphics are fun. Oh. oh. Okay. It was weird starting with the original weapon. Oh, okay. Can I get... Oh, no, it already... It's not going to let me get this again. Um, yeah, I'd say the graphics are, are good. They're not the best I've ever seen. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. The game is just too fun that it just doesn't even matter. <laughs> the graphics are perfect. Oh. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, maybe they're just not, like, totally mind-blowing. But there's really nothing wrong with the graphics at all. Okay, how does this guy ever stop shooting? Well, I think I have to break that... Like a, it's like a beehive or something over there. That's probably going to stop these guys from spawning. Yes, okay. Okay, I didn't know why they were... Um, they were basically unlimited dudes. <laughs> My weapon's so weak now compared to how it was before I had to continue going. Oh yeah, this is so fun. Like, seriously. I play this again in a heartbeat. It's so good. Oh yes. Yes. Give me all your spread shots. So what is a turrican? Is the Turrican the guy? Or is he a robot? Is he in a... Is he a human in a suit? Like an exoskeleton little suit or something? Or is he like an alien in a suit? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, I don't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's fun. <laughs> okay, this guy is awesome. <laughs> like a... <laughs> He's like a, a skeletal robot guy. <laughs> That's very descriptive. I'm seriously almost at a loss for words here. It's just, I'm having so much fun with this. Some of these games that I play them, they're just so much fun that uh, I almost forget that I'm supposed to be talking about them and recording a video. <laughs> I just want to just play. <laughs> That's kind of like this one. <laughs> I should wrap it up though pretty soon. Get out of here. Oh crap, we're already at 18 minutes. Okay, I'm wrapping it up. Okay. This game is 100% awesome. The only flaws, really, are that you can't shoot diagonally. Or, or up and down. Vertically, whatever you want to call it. Like, honestly, it's amazing. I love it so much. Um, it, this game is definitely, without a doubt, a 5 out of 5. So I'm going to give it um, 5 hard-to-kill skeletal robots out of 5. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with five hard-to-kill skeletal robots out of five. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.